Yo guys, it's Ify here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well as well as I am. I'm doing great. And um, yeah, here's my last episode of the Road to Prestige series I'm doing on my channel. I know it's the last episode but and it's only three episodes but I'm, I managed to somehow get them all down, get all the clips down to three episodes which is pretty much what I wanted. I didn't want to keep this keep this series long. I just want it to be short and sweet. So with it being the last episode, I'll have a new series coming out, which is hopefully going to be the challenge series I was talking about in episode 2 of Road to Prestige, which basically, as an outline, I go head-to-head -head with my friend on a challenge in Call of Duty, and depending on if I win or lose, if I win, I get to live another day. If I lose, then obviously I'm going to have to do a challenge, which I've got quite a few challenges lined up now, and they're ready. So all I need to do now is pretty much record the challenge, and then... I can work out whether I need to do the forfeit or not and yeah it's it's gonna be a little bit of fun you know as I was saying in my last episode it's just a bit of banter really a bit of fun no harm done but um yeah you get at least you'll get to see me get destroyed by whatever forfeit I'm doing I'll probably be in either in tears or I'll be pretty much broken or but yeah hopefully it'll be fun and hopefully you guys will enjoy it my final thoughts on the game, um, it's good, it's better than the last Call of Duty's obviously since I've said in my previous videos but um, yeah it's much better to play, much more balanced, there's obviously some guns like the, um, the Type 100 and the PPSH which are kind of like overpowered, a lot of people are using them nowadays and um, yeah I'm not a big fan of the sniper gu and snipers in the game but um, yeah it's fair, I'm not a big sniper sniper anymore since Modern Warfare 2 days with the obviously quick scoping with the intervention and the usual class setup for that but um yeah uh, apart from that I, lo I love the multiplayer aspect of this game now it's much better it's much more realistic obviously with it being backdated to World War 2 where most of the guns are really really good it's fun to play and it's fun to experience the new these new maps well maps what used to be like in uh, Call of Duty World at War but um yeah, there's no jumping and all of that, which was obviously my biggest problem with Call of Duty, but let's put that aside now. It's it's all about this game now. I know it's still only December, but um, they'll be releasing DLC soon, which will be which will be fun to hear about. I mean, hopefully the maps they bring out are really good, and obviously they'll, I'm guessing they're going to have one map per, one zombies map per DLC, which is what they've done in the past Call of Duties. Um, I'd like to see more, but obviously... A lot of work goes into one zombies map especially if there's a lot of storyline and um, things to set up uh, things to set up such as obviously turning power on and things like that and working your way around it now I'm just playing the game for fun after I've reached prestige I'm just I'm playing a little bit of hardcore recently um, it's obviously it's a pain in the bum but it's fun to play and um, it's funny when I rage at it um, if you like want to see, if you guys want to see that, if you want to see me raging at obviously one hit kills with pistols and things like that, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous. But um, if you guys want to see that, then I'd be happy to do that. I love I love hardcore now. It's I'm I never used to play it as much, but now I've just been playing hardcore every single game, hardcore domination, and yeah, the biggest aids is friendly fire. But now, well, before they had like a timeout for if you'd killed your teammate more than twice I think it was or maybe three times but now they've gone much stricter I think with the new patch where they've set it so I think it's if you kill your teammate three times uh, you'll get kicked it's pretty much straight out of the game so then it's it's kind of it's annoying but it's good at the same time because I prefer having the timeout so you can actually come back into the game instead of just leaving so if you're like with a group of like four or five people and then say for an a accidentally someone just keeps running in front of you and you're holding a trigger button and it can get annoying where you just get kicked and then your friends are still in the game it's just like why why have I been kicked I've been it's just it's an it's all an accident but um yeah that's the whole point of hardcore but yeah, I want I want to see the um, timeout brought back in. I don't. I'm not a big fan of the getting kicked unless I'd say unless it's really really deliberate. If they if there's a way they can do that where they can tell it's really really deliberate where the guys shooting just teammates for fun, then yeah, kick them kick them out. That's that's 
the best thing they can do. But when 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 it's an accident, when someone say if you're just uh, aiming down sight and then someone just walks into you, and you got an enemy in front of you, in front of you, uh, right at the end, and your teammate walks in front of you trying to kill him, and then you end up killing your teammate. That's like the most biggest accident, and um, it happens. But there's nothing we can do. Well, nothing nothing we can do as players, but. It's a bit of fun, really. I just love it when people just lob grenades at B in domination, and then when you're trying to cap B, and it's like, shit, I need to run, I need to run, I need to run. Especially from friendly grenades, because a lot of people just throw nades out straight at B, and it's annoying whenever you're trying to capture it as well, because then you end up dying, which is rather unfortunate. But yeah, it's 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 funny sometimes. So yeah, this series has been fun to make. It's pretty much been me playing for like two or three hours, and then managed to cut the clips down to my but I did have quite a few good clips but I just had to prioritize which ones I liked more than or which one looked much better in terms of how long it took me to get those kills in in, in between each other and how good the kills were to be fair and um, yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed this short little series if you have watched it right to the end to the, uh, in this video at the end i'll be sh it, it shows i've shown you what happens when you prestige where you go to and what you get is just pretty much the basic stuff like extra classes um uh calling cards and emblems for reaching prestige and all of that and then obviously you start again um for some reason it's it feels like it's quicker to get from prestige one to prestige two because i haven't been playing that much but i'm already like level 30 40 i think and um yeah it just feels kind of weird it just feels like going from zero to prestige one is it takes forever but for some reason it feels like it's only been like an hour or two where i've just reached level 40 but um yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed this this series it's obviously it's short but i wanted to keep it short anyway so hopefully you guys were okay with that i mean i get i got a few likes on both of the videos so i'm happy about that and hopefully i'll get the same with this and yeah I'd also like to thank you for joining me on this short series and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, subscribe for challenges actually because that will be coming soon and um, comment anything you liked about the video or the series or what you look forward to in the challenge series and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have an awesome day.